Okay, so this will be part one of my speedrun tutorial for budget cuts, which will go over setup, glitches, and then one of the levels. So if you're playing a category with mutators, um, you're probably going to want translocator force to be double and smooth locomotion to be the max setting. But of course, if you're playing without mutators, um, you can tell because like this will say achievements are off if you're playing with it. Set this to jog because that's the max you can get without the like warning. Um, okay. And for this series, I'll just be putting detection speed to off because it makes it easier to teach. So we're gonna start with finding April because this is the only level that's the same in inbounds and out of bounds. Okay, so once you're here, switch to your translocator and go through. And the main method of movement, if you're using smooth, smooth locomotion, is to like hold the stick in a direction and teleport at the same time. So you want to get out here and then teleport over there and then there. Now here's the main like glitch we're going to use in the run a lot. If you hold up a piece of paper against any wall and shoot underneath it, the orb from the teleporter should go right through any wall. Like that. So hold it up. I usually hold it at like, uh, like about this angle. Might take some getting used to, but yeah. Just place it underneath and then shoot. And then at the end of this level, place it in there, then go to the elevator and teleport it. A few more stuff I'm going to go over. During the load into the first level, hold the left stick forward if you're using smooth locomotion. Then once the level like fully loads in, we'll start here instead of back there. If you're not using smooth locomotion, just immediately grab that and then switch over. Uh, but one more thing. Um, for out of bounds, you can reach through this wall and press that button. You can, um, and then pick up a piece of paper, open your inventory, hover it over, and when the screen is black, you can place it in, which will preserve any item from the start of the level. If you're running no out of bounds, you'd want to preserve this key card instead of this paper for reasons that I will go over in the inbounds tutorial. So for getting out of this elevator in the inbounds route, it would look more like this. And then you can just pick up the key card wherever I threw it. And then one last note, for any of these vents, you don't actually have to take them off. You can just stick your gun through, which can save just a tiny amount of time, but it's worth it.